Hello there, Everett Triplett here, Sierra Nevada Mountains, here to reveal to you that uh, the Bible does describe nuclear war coming, and it's uh, consequences of our disobedience to God. And I have a scripture here to show you where it talks about uh, what's coming. And it's in Daniel, it starts out in Daniel 9-11, not in a hard number to remember, but uh, check this out. This is my Bible, all kind of blown up, marked up. It says here in Van, Daniel 9-11, all Israel is refusing to obey. And it says, therefore, the curses written in the book of Moses will come upon them. It says, uh, just as it's written in the book of Moses, all these curses will come upon them. What's coming has never been done before, will never be done again. And then uh, as I was reading this in my study time, the question came to my mind, hey, I want to know what is, what is written in the book of Moses? What curses could this be talking about? When uh, I did, took a while, but I found where this is talking about what's written in the book of Moses. And so here we go. The book of Moses is Deuteronomy 28. So you read Deuteronomy 28. All you have to do is see where it says uh, these curses will come upon you if you don't obey the Lord. And then, and then it goes on and on. These are the curses that will come upon you. And it mentions here that uh, the Lord will strike you with uh, you know, right here, a wasting disease. Fever, inflammation, scorching heat and drought, and then Top of the page over here, it goes on to say uh, everything that's being described fits uh, the definition of a description of uh, radiation sickness. So radiation sickness appears to be uh, described right here, where it says, uh, the Lord will turn the rain of your land into dust and powders like fallout dust. And then it goes on to say, talks about festering sores and tumors and itch from which you cannot be cured. This is uh, the curses that are coming. These, these are referred to by Daniel because Daniel is saying that it says, for, first of all, it says all Israel. It says all Israel is refusing to obey. Therefore, these curses will come upon them. And so uh, the question is, who is all Israel? And it's quite simple. And for one thing, it's not talking about the place Israel because uh, a place does not refuse to obey, but it's talking about the people Israel. And in our modern present day world, uh, that can be a challenge to figure out, well, who are these people Israel who are refusing to obey? But the Bible gives us the answers. Abraham was promised by God he would become the father of many nations, that his descendants would be like the sand on the seashore, the stars in the sky. And so we're watching all Israel includes uh, the bulk of the NATO alliances because uh, the name Anglo-Saxon, Saxon means sons of Isaac. Din Mark is Mark of Dan, one of the 12 tribes. They all migrated westward. So all Israel who's refusing to obey includes many nations whose numbers are like sand on the seashore, stars in the sky. And, and uh, you, can, you can do your own homework. You can dig and research like I've done. And um, right before Moses died, he was on top of Mount Nebo, and, and uh, the Lord told him, the promised land lies to the west beyond the great sea. And so Joshua took over to lead him. They started going westward. They went northwest. They don't go southwest. That's back in Egypt where they were slaves. So, so they became the Greeks. Judah was pro prophesied over by uh, Israel who was Jacob, and, he, and told Judah, the ruling scepter will never leave your hands. So, so Judah, the ruler, became Greece, the for birthplace of democracy, and the Greek Empire ruled the world for a time. Then westward, it went to Rome. Rome became the Roman Empire, ruled the world for a while. Then it went westward to Great Britain. The British Empire ruled the world. Sun never set on the world. Then, then we became the sons of England, we became the sole remaining superpower ruling the world, the world's greatest economy, world's greatest military power, and our time has come and it's passing. 
and we are the nation. We are the Israelites who are refusing to obey, and these curses are already coming upon us, which it does also include, which it isn't hard to see. It says, uh, well, it's not on this page. It goes on to say, the aliens who live among you will rise higher and higher. They'll become the head, you'll become the tail. That they, uh, they will lend to you, and you will borrow from them, meaning you'll become broke. Because uh, in the blessings part, which is, it's like a, Deuteronomy 20, it's like a two-sided coin. And if you're blessed, you'll lend to many nations and borrow from none. And you'll be the head, not the tail. See, all these scriptures here have been fulfilled for a nation that we were, where we obeyed God, that we actually uh, followed him. We were at the top, never at the bottom. This is so, so we were not supposed to turn away from God, but because we did, we're no longer a nation under God, and we pledge allegiance, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I go, well, we're now we're divided. Uh, we're not under God. And uh, liberty, justice, it's uh, become kind of uh, scarce, all because the curses are upon us. But uh, Jesus will return, and his people will be uh, brought through the fire, tested like silver, refined like gold. That's Zechariah 13, 8. I recommend you check that out. Anyway, uh, God bless you. Thanks for watching all about Daniel 9-11 and the curses in Deuteronomy 28 that Daniel 9-11 refers you to. Understand, the Word of God's accurate, and it's happening just like it said it would. And we're there. Click like and subscribe.